What's up guys, War here, welcome back to the channel. Today we have another build video for a lot of the changes that came to the PTR, which is just fantastic in Diablo 4. The PTR has actually been a lot of fun, even though it's only seven days, guys. So today we are looking at Hail Hydra, the wizard build. They did buff the Hydra set. Hydras now deal 400% increased damage for each Hydra head alive. This used to be 2000 damage, so they doubled it. And through testing, this is actually pretty good. I think we hit a few rifts where we're doing sub two minute nineties, um, which is really, really cool, man. I can't, I can't stress how like how uninterested I was in this build for seasons. And now it's actually kind of cool. So let's go over everything that you need to do for the build. So you're gonna need um, five of the six piece set for the um, Typhon's Veil, which is great. We paired this with the Guardian set for more damage. And then uh, with our other equipment, we have the Magistrate, okay, or the Magistrate. You have to have this. The Hydra's not periodically cast Frost Nova and deal 290% increased damage. Fantastic. Must have helmet. We have gone with the Squirt's Necklace for double damage, as well as the Halo of Karini for defense, which is great because our Storm Armor is always going to be active. And then COE for just more damage. Into our weapons and offhand, we have the Winter Flurry. So enemies killed by cold damage have a 25% to, excuse me, to release a Frost Nova. But more importantly, what we have here is the Hydra's deal increased damage to enemies in a Blizzard, because you see we have Blizzard here. And then of course, Serpent's Sparker, you have to have this. You have an extra Hydra active at a time and they deal 300% increased damage. Everything is gonna be based off Hydras here, guys, along with doing Blizzard in combination with Spectral Blade. Okay, so let's get into our cube. We got Fragment of Destiny here. So your signature spells attack faster and deal triple damage. The triple damage is irrelevant, but this the attack speed is huge because we wanna get our stacks to do increased damage. Okay, so when we have a spectral buff and you land with a signature spell, Hydra's deal 30% increased damage for each stack going up to 10. So we're going to get 300% increased damage there. Huge. Uh, Tasker and Theo for our pets, because technically the Hydra's are pets, so they have um, attack speed increases, which is huge. And then, of course, the Ring of Royal Grandeur to pair the two sets together. Okay. Our gems are going to be the Enforcer for pet damage and uh, the, the so much not for them taking less damage, it's the, it's the increase in damage and then uh, Zaya Stone of Vengeance for more damage and of course Bane of the Trap for more damage. Into our skills guys, we have Spectral Blade Barrier Blades. The reason that we're using Spectral or Barrier Blades is that way so we get a shield because traditionally wizards are real squishy and we're trying to keep our distance here and just let our Hydras do all the damage. Okay, so uh, Hydra Frost Hydra. Okay, you summon this and it deals a short cone of frost, dealing increased damage to everybody. Only one Hydra may be active at a time, but we get to use two, which is great. So we end up getting, I think, eight total Hydra heads for increased damage. Teleport Wormhole, uh, so that way we can teleport twice and get around the map faster. Black Hold apple, Absolute Zero, so that way we get um, increased damage for cold spells. Uh, and then Blizzard Apocalypse. The only reason we're using Apocalypse instead of the cold one, or one of them, is because of the the AOE, the yard radius. It's 30 yards when normally it's uh, 12 yards. So we get 18 more yards. So we want to do this so that way our Hydras can deal more damage against monsters in a Blizzard. And then, of course, Storm Hour or storm armor power of the storm for defense and it reduces the cost of our skills now i will say before we get into our passives guys that really black hole you can swap this out but it does pair well with our elemental exposure so we have that for uh increased damage audacity for more damage arcane domino for more damage and then of course galvanizing war for our shield for defense um, you might be able to swap a few of these out with with testing guys this seems really really strong um, if you were suffering on uh, cooldowns you could do evocation but really the build is actually really solid with those passives so that is the build guys so how this works is it's it's a little tricky we're going to be dashing or teleporting around with black uh with teleport uh you want to black hole large groups to pull them together spectral blade to get our arcanes up which you'll see right here on the screen when this hits five you're going to want to drop a hydra so that way you deal the most amount of damage and then of course you want to hit blizzard so that way they deal even more damage in a blizzard so it's it's a lot of mechanical buttons that you have to press and i really thought that it was going to be 
a lot harder than it was but really it's not a lot of the times i don't even use black hole because even though you get the increase um damage of your cold spells i mean it really you could really swap it out for a, a defensive spell if you really wanted to if you felt really squishy i mean you could do diamond skin frost nova you could do one of those you could do wave of force really you could do magic weapon if you really wanted to um and have the 10% increased damage just overall like that with deflection whenever you perform an attack you get even more of a shield and 10% increased damage instead of of that you know what let's actually try that let's actually try that for the uh for the demonstration here and let's hop into a 90. let's get it so we're gonna pop deflection pop storm armor we're gonna teleport around here and then we just want to we just want to pop blizzard and let our frost like our hydras just do everything remember get your signets up right every time you get one of those up You see, you're, you're kind of letting the Hydras just do pretty much everything. Now, the only bummer with this build is that you're just not as fast as you need to be. Or as, as fast as you would like to be. Which is just like kind of a bummer. Like you have to teleport twice. And then you're just kind of sitting. Which is kind of a bummer. But other than that, though... You let your Hydras just do it all. And you can just instantly cast them, right? Which is just great. I just wish the, the build was faster. It's just not, unfortunately, guys. It, it's, it's kind of a bummer. But you can see how strong the build is. And you, there we go, speed. That's what I'm talking about. It's just a lot of mechanical buttons that you have to press, which is kind of annoying. But it's okay. It's it's not as bad as you as you would think. But it's not too bad. It's just a lot of mechanical stuff that you have to do, guys, and again, it it can be it can be a lot of fun. Oh my god, what a terrible what a terrible All right, give me the conduit. That's nice. All right, Rift Guardian, pretty good. And you just decimate. So it's not bad. The only thing with this for me, guys, is that there's there's so much, um, like so many mechanical buttons that you have to press all the time. So it makes playing the build a little more difficult than I would like. But in the end, you know, it's not supposed to be, it's supposed to be more of like this crowd control pushing build not necessarily for speed but again we did it in two minutes like sub two minutes guys it's not bad at all and i probably even like messed up on a lot of things here and again we don't have a whole lot of good armor um again nothing's augmented our gems aren't really high now there is an option here if you didn't want the hydras to deal increased damage here and want to get around even faster you could swap fragment of destiny for um aether walker so that way you can teleport permanently around i have not tested that because i wanted to have the 300 percent increased damage but it is definitely an option if you want to be a little faster so that's probably the only suggestion i would give for this build guys but hail hydra the build is actually really fun once you start to get mechanically down um black hole is definitely an option i think i'm going to stick with magic uh, uh magic weapon deflection just because I, it's one less button I have to actually press. So uh, this is going to be great. The build's really, really cool. I hope maybe they do some other changes with it. But I mean, Hydra is actually kind of back. I mean, it's it's a pretty solid build to be able to do runs, and it pushes really well um, because of the crowd control and just with the number of Hydras that you guys can do. So like the video if you guys did enjoy it. Make sure to comment down below, guys. What did you think about the uh, Hydra buff? For the wizard i know it's not going to be like meteors or anything but it is going to be a cool build if you want to play something different so let me know down in the comments and as always stay gaming catch you guys in the next one peace